Now we will discuss about the anatomy of the cubital fossa. Cubitus means elbow. A fossa present in anterior part of elbow. Here is elbow in this diagram. This is elbow. And a fossa is present here. This is cubital fossa. Boundary of the cubital fossa is formed by This is humerus, this is radius, and here is coronoid process of ulna. This is ulna. So, this is humerus, radius, ulna. Here, one muscle is attached from supracondylar ridge. On lateral aspect, this is lateral supracondylar ridge. From here, this muscle takes origin and inserted on near the steroid process of radius. This is brachioradialis muscle. This muscle is brachioradialis. Brachio radialis and the muscle which takes origin from medial epicondyle of humerus and medial margin of coronoid process from here and from here this muscle is pronator teres this muscle has two heads, one is rise from medial condyle of medial epicondyle of humerus and another is from medial margin of coronary process of and inserted on middle one third part of anterior surface of this radius. So, this structure, this is prorated teres. It for medial boundary and brachioradialis for lateral boundary and an imaginary line joining the two condyles. This is medial epicondyle and this is lateral epicondyle. This imaginary line joins two epicondyles. This forms base. And here at the junction of these two boundaries of the apex. So this cubital fossa has base, it has apex, it has medial boundary, it has lateral boundary. Base is formed by an imaginary line connecting the Two epicondyle, medial and lateral epicondyle, and lateral boundary is found by medial border of this is medial border of brachioradialis, and medial boundary is found by lateral border of prorated teres, and apex is found by medial point of these two boundaries. So this is boundary of the cubital fossa. Now we will discuss about the floor of the this fossa. Floor of cubital fossa. Again we will make a diagram.
this is radius here is coordinate process of alna this is alna four is found by one muscle here this is this is brachialis so brachialis form the floor of the cuticle fossa and under muscle this muscle is supinator muscle so this muscle is supinator so supinator so these two muscles form the floor of the cuticle if you cut a section at this level you can see here is radial curiosity and here is coronary process of alana and here is this is coronary process this muscle is this brachialis and here this muscle is supinator so brachialis and supinator form the floor of cuticle fossa now you have seen the boundary floor now we will discuss about the roof of the cuticle fossa roof for seeing the roof initially you make incision here then here then here and reflect this part reflect this part now roof is formed by this skin now here is after skin there is superficial fascia and here superficial fascia contains cephalic vein this is cephalic vein here is basilic vein cephalic vein here is basilic vein and here is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm this is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and here is lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm and under structure here is median cubital vein which is a vein of choice of intra venous infusion so this is median cubital vein so these structures project in superficial fascia so roof is formed by skin then content of the superficial fascia these are cephalic vein cephalic vein basilic vein medial cutaneous nerve of forearm lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm median cubital vein now after removing these structures you will find deep fascia and here deep to this superficial fascia there is biseptal aponeurosis so this biseptal aponeurosis also form the roof of the cuticle fossa so these are the roof of the this structure form the roof of the cuticle fossa skin here are content of the superficial fascia then deep fascia then 
bicipital aponeurosis. So these structures from the loop. Now content. Here, this is cubital fossa, this to boundary, and here we'll make the content. Medial most structure of this region is this nerve. This is median nerve. This is median nerve. Which passes here between two heads of the protectoris. This is median nerve. This is the content of this total fossa. This is median most structure. Then another structure is brachial artery. This is brachial artery. This brachial artery divides into radial and ulnar artery in this cubital fossa. So this is median nerve. This is median nerve. Here is brachial artery. And the structure is tendon of biceps. Here is biceps tendon which is attached on tibial tuberosity, on radial tuberosity, on radial tuberosity. In this diagram, here, this is radial tuberosity, here is attachment of the biceps brachii, this is biceps brachii, biceps brachii. And lateral to this, there is a nerve, which is radial nerve. This is radial nerve. Here, it divides into superficial and deep branch. Deep branch pierces this supinatal muscle, this supinatal muscle, and known as posterior interosseous nerve. So these are the content, here is fossa and these are content from medial to lateral side. Medial most structure is median nerve, then brachial artery, then biceps brachii muscle, then radial nerve. M, B, B, R. From medial to lateral, these are the content of the cubital fossa. So this is all about the cubital fossa.